Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, uh, I'm Ryzen and we are going to go to the Yavin Space Station. Uh, so, we'll be back after the few flying through space cutscenes that you can't, you guys can't see are over. And of Incoming course, fire. we were attacked by fighters, so now we have to play this stupid minigame that I suck really bad at. Come on! There we go, got one. I've never died in one of these, but I have a feeling that it could happen. Sometime. Just because I'm that bad at controlling this. Come on. Come on. Fly higher. That's not fair that they can just fly underneath where I can aim. But I guess it doesn't have to be fair. Come on, how much do I have to lead that guy? One left. Ah, right in the sun. Okay, and now we are at the space station. We're docked. Uh, how do I get out of here? Nope. Yeah, this way. Uh, I guess we don't really need people, but I will right, bring along him and why not? We'll bring the naked Candrus with us too for this little expedition. <laughs> and we'll get now. We're gonna keep him that way. There's no threats here anyway. Do, do, do. Uh, even if he has new stuff, I'm probably not going to be able to afford it, I just realized. But we'll check it out. <laughs> Where are you? Um, you know what? No, what am I doing? Light armor. Public armor. Military. Light battle armor. Oh yeah, you can wear Kalo Nords. So I don't think he even has extra. Yeah, he's got one, so that works perfect. So Will really needs help. Oh yeah, we'll give it to Reflex. Didn't I make him? I think I made him. No, did I not? Defeat. Okay. I'm spending way too much time on this. Let's just give him a dire sword. Yeah, that works for right now. And, ooh, those could probably be good on someone else that I have. We'll just give him these stupid goggles just to make him look cool. Well, we got plenty of those. And you're good. Demolitions. There. That does not look like what Kalo Nord was wearing, but I guess he was wearing some goofy outfit. Sure. I wonder if those doors ever open up. Don't make weird noises. What the? No, I want to talk to him. There we go. Well, why can't I not talk to you? What is wrong with this guy? Okay, for some reason he's bugging out. I'm gonna run back onto the ship. And then back out and see if he's working again. So be right back. Hey, okay, we're back now. I don't know what it was that first time, but it would not let me talk to him. 
now he is able to talk to me. Um, let's see if he has anything to say. So, do you know anything about the H star maps? How did you know Davik? No, he doesn't have anything to say. Uh, what do you, Billy Wasabi? He thinks he's around the place, tough, blah blah blah. But if you want to pay, I've got a few more advances you can look at. I'm always, always working on more, so you can expect some time, at, some other time if I don't have what you want now. Okay, so doesn't look like he has anything new from the last time. A super efficient version. New mind affecting a poison. That's kind of cool, but I could almost afford that. That's upgradable. Yeah, these are both upgradable. Those are really cool sets of armor, but. Alright, so, waste of time. Thought maybe since we had uh, found one of the star maps that it would have uh, changed his inventory. But it doesn't seem to have done so. Huh? Right, might as well level you up. Skills. Feats. What did I give him last time? I think I gave him the implant. You know, he already has a lot of stuff for blasters. Maybe I should just stick with that. I'll give him the uh, last implant, though. So what else would be good for him, then, if he were going to stick with blasters or heavy weapons prove toughness if he subtracts two points from any damage oops this character is further fortified against damage the character gains an additional so okay Yeah, so he's pretty tough now. Do I, I don't know if I really have any guns that are good, though. The heavy pistol. Assassin pistol. See, all these... I don't have anything that's actually a heavy weapon. 4 to 13. 13. And it is upgradable. I don't know if I have the upgrades, but Ready. sure. Yeah, so we'll we'll try taking a uh, Candrus and HK forty seven with us to wherever we go next. Da -da -da. See, does Candrus have anything? Any new war stories to tell us? Try to talk to everyone right now, actually keep up on uh oh, let's see if we can upgrade his weapon as well. Oh, right there. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, I th think Karth is using that, so yeah, we'll just throw that on there. Um and I don't really like my lightsaber being purple so we're gonna go back to back to red okay and do you have anything to say yeah what do you want more war stories I don't have as many strange stories like the last one I told you but I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done in one battle above the world of Althea my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size that battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Wow, tell For me five about it. days, they had managed to hold off our forces. 
keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Did it work? Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening. A mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. You're a great warrior, Candace. Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? Yeah, what stimulus? Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough. A real okay, fine. What if you had war stories? I think I'll tell you a bit about the recent war we had with the Republic. That might be more familiar to you. The one where Jedi Revan beat my people. We started by conquering worlds outside the Republic. We did it quietly so the Republic wouldn't really know what was going on until it was too late. When we finally did hit the Republic worlds, they had no idea we were coming. We came in through three invasion corridors in adjacent sectors. Anyone who put up a fight, or wouldn't fight, was crushed. We raised whole worlds trying to provoke the Republic into fighting us. I don't particularly enjoy wiping out worlds for its own sake, but the cowardly tactics the Republic defenders used left us little choice. Huh. They didn't know you were coming. That's not what I heard from earlier. They Jedi knew about you guys attacking those other worlds that weren't from the Republic. What do you mean? Hiding in the homes of civilians, using families as shields, thinking we would not use appropriate force on their bases inside major cities. They underestimated our resolve and what measures are acceptable in war. Those who cannot defend themselves should not be around those who can in battle. If annihilating a city is the kind of power it takes to overwhelm a Republic shield device, then that's what we did. Necessary force to destroy all opposition. Hmm. Now that's my kind of warfare. There was no honor in wiping them out like rats. But some of your forces did redeem the Republic in our eyes. Especially later. How did they redeem themselves? Maybe when we kicked your tails. Later, when Revan had joined the war. But we'll get back to that. We've wasted too much time already. Is there something else you want to know? Uh, this seemed to open hey, more dialogue and options. Oh, so it looks your like he's already got all he's got to say. Let's go um, talk to Juani. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I wonder if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Tell me more about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. Invigorating? They were so very alive. So full of hope and energy and zeal in retrospect i can see it was a little bit tragic what do you mean those jedi were going to fight the mandalorians just after they had invaded many of those jedi perished in the fighting but to us they seemed invincible especially their leader who they talked about all the time paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them it was like looking at gods <laughs> so this seems like in my guy's character he kind of 
doesn't like to take things too seriously, except for when it comes to power. I can only assume that that was some misguided attempt at humor. I was using poetic license. But those <laughs> Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Ugh. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. All species are capable of intolerance. Yes. But humans seem the most pervasive, the most consistent. They took their frustrations and hate out on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no, but... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. It's alright. No, it is not. Anger can lead to the dark side. And I must yes, be ever careful. The dark I do side. not fall back into those ways. I, I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for. But you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. Okay. And then we have mission that we haven't talked to in a while. Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about your brother. Don't worry, I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Okay. Hmm, she doesn't seem to want to talk more about it. Okay, so I really have no idea what planet is best to go to next. All I know is I'm gonna go to Manan last because. I just remember from what I have played before that I did not like that place. I could be wrong. It could just be me remembering things incorrectly. But we did Tatooine. Um, maybe we should check in on Tatooine and let them know that we found the thing. Uh, I don't know if we're supposed to check in. Well, maybe I'll get something for finding it. Uh, let's let's. Do Okay, so we're just going to really quick go check in with the Jedi Council just to see if maybe I can get, I don't know, reward, maybe they'll be like, hey, good job, and give me something cool, or most likely it's going to be nothing, but we'll take, we'll take both the Jedi with us just in case they want to talk about either one of them. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Whoa, that guy was there and then disappeared. Very sneaky. We'll talk to that guy on the way out. Maybe he has something new to say. He always seems to be really interested in what we're doing. Do -do -do -do. Forgot to set my timer again. Alright, come on. Give me something. Who should I talk to? Uh, let's talk to... Let's talk to this guy. As well that you are still alive, Padawan. In that you have not yet managed to fail us completely. Okay. You and the council has placed the. F you guys really not gonna care that I found one? You must not fail in your mission, young Padawan. You and Bas. Okay, so it looks like they don't care. May the force be with you. Okay. Well, might as well talk to him just in case. Greetings, young Padaw. As Croc, you. No. May the. Okay. Yeah, that was a waste of time. Okay, we're gonna go to Kash Kashik Kashik Kashik. Yeah, Kashik I think it's called. Pronounced. We're gonna go there. And we'll bring Mission and Zalbar with us. Zalbar I've been using his I look at this. This has happened so many times. Just invisible walls. You're gonna talk about the Jedi eating monsters? 
Uh, yeah, so nope, nothing new from. Okay, sorry, this was just a complete waste of time. Kashik Temperate Forest Native Species Wookie Docking Zerka Core Outpost. It looks like we're going to have another vision, which you guys will be able to see. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his holy master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. I like how every time she's like, huh, this seems like the most unlikely place to find one. Why would... Of course, they're putting them on all the planets. Well, at least Tatooine and these ones are very unlikely places where you would find it, which is why they're there. Um, so yeah, the only thing you missed in the cutscenes uh, was a vision of the star map, just it in some sort of chamber, I don't even know, couldn't really tell what it looked like, and then us landing our ship in between a bunch of trees at night. Okay, sorry about that, my phone rang. Um, yeah, I don't really remember what I was talking about. Anyway, the star map is on the force floor. Do, <laughs> do you think the Wookiees are involved? It looked like the star map was on the force floor. The Wookiees of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. No doubt. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be bringing anyone, any, either of you two. <laughs> Come on, Zalbar, we're going. Get mission two. So mission and Zalbar. Greetings to you. Well, I'm pleased to welcome you to planet. Whatever. I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. That's cool. Zerk Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a hundred, but hundred credit docking fee in advance. I fear. Uh, dog view, why would I need to pay that? Well, I need to pay that. Outpost is remote, expensive to maintain, 100 credits. Okay, we want sure that it remains here. For your use, of course. Upon collection of correct, of the correct fees, will extend what resources their corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. Uh, no, I do. I don't think we need to pay that docking fee. Perhaps you don't need to pay the fee. Any services you need will be more, and you will more than make up for it. Yeah, that's right. So you have a Wookiee with you, can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, their culture can provide a translator for you during your visit. Translator? Huh. <laughs> I'm trained in the floor, so I have no trouble. Eyes are more than you can know. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. No, that won't be necessary. Very well. Though only the most adaptive people seem to comprehend the Wookiee language, such as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I'll answer any further questions there. I don't want to go there. Okay, let's go. So restricted, not usable by Wookiees, replacing bulky ear protection. These items make some newly developed counterwave nullifiers, the innovation pioneered by. So what's it do? Damage resistance, resist 10 versus Sonic. Oh, does anything even use Sonic on us? We'll give her that. She can't wear those. We don't have anything to put there. What does he need? He's not on the cusp of anything, so... Let's see. 
We give him intelligence, no dexterity. So we give him this one. It's ton to his awareness and dexterity plus two. Nice. Got those three. Yes, we'll give him that. Power attack. We also got flurry. Character suffers a minus four to defense and minus two. Now let's give him the uh, most advanced power attack. Then mission. She gets that automatically. Blaster pistol adds plus one. To Attack bonus. Well, we're gonna. This will be better because this will give us less penalties for using two for now. Two to seven. What was she using? The heavy blaster. So one eight. It's a little less damage. Mandalorian heavy pistol, there we go. And then her offhand, it's just a blaster. Much better. Sure. She has anything to say? Hey there, what can I do for you? Don't worry. Okay, so now she still doesn't okay. want to talk about him. Okay. Any loot. All right, so um, yeah, we're just gonna end the video here. Sorry, there's a lot of nothing in this video so far. Um, we'll get to more exciting things in the next one. Uh, thanks for bearing with me and watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.